Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette, this is Good Owl Games, and I'm here to try and help you pick some great games for game night. But today we're going to have a little bit of fun. I don't normally do fun, so you know, this is just a tester pilot. Um, shout in the comment box below if you enjoy this. And what I'm going to do is a game of Would You Rather, um, and I'm going to play it with my board games. So the options are Would You Rather Buy It, Bin It, or Borrow It. So I'm going to randomly choose some board games from my collection and we'll see which one fits into which category. First, the disclaimer, um, I own all these games, meaning I do love them all equally, but this game is supposed to be about making difficult choices. So I'm going to choose some games at random from my collection because the BG Stats app now has a way for you to randomize um, a game. So we're going to pick three. Um, so game the first says Trajan. Trajan, okay. We'll go for another. Guillotine. Okay, Trajan, Guillotine and Nemesis. Okay, let's go get them and I'll be right back and see which one belongs in which slot. So if this game is proof of anything, it's really that I need to sort my board game collection. I found both Trajan and Nemesis, but not Guillotine. But it is a tiny, tiny box, so it could be shoved down the side of something. I'll figure it out later. So for now, we'll pretend I have a, a guillotine. Um, all right, so I will talk about it first. So guillotine is a, a game where it's a number of days during the French Revolution, and you are collecting nobles that have been beheaded. When I put it like that, it doesn't sound so pleasant, does it? Um, but basically, it is kind of a set collection thing, and you reorder the line so that you'll get whatever noble you want at the top of the line, or someone else doesn't. And then you count up how many points they're worth at the end of the day. Um, Guillotine is one of those games I have because it was one of the first games I bought because there is a card named after me. There's a Marie Antoinette card. And it's one of the few board games that has survived many, many culls. Despite it not really getting played anymore, I think this game is much more sentimental value than it is, you know, anything else. Also, the theme seems a bit iffy when I say it out loud now, but it didn't feel that way when I bought it. I don't know. It's good to see times are changing. Um, but yeah, I can't remember the last time I played Guillotine. Um, I've kept it, though, because of what it is. Um, so, um, so I'll decide where it goes in a moment. So that's the first title. So let's move on to the second, which is Nemesis, which is over there in the big, big box. And... Oh, Nemesis is the kind of game I shouldn't like at all. Um, I remember really surprising me when I first got it because Nemesis is a, a dudes on a map game. So if you've seen Aliens, I, I hope you have, it's a fantastic movie, then you'll be kind of familiar with this board game in which you and your crew are aboard a ship, there are aliens coming and you have objectives to complete um, so that you can get space safely off of the ship or where, or whatever it is you're supposed to do, depending. Um, you can play co-op, you can play it semi-co-op um, and things like that. It's a big game, it's got miniatures, you move around, you know, it, to me it has that kind of, I suppose, something I don't do very often, but that kind of big group game feel working together. Not quite Battlestar Galactica, because that's its own special thing, but Nemesis is actually really fun. It surprised me so much, because um, I didn't think I would like it, but I like the idea of the theme, and I think there's little more fun than having a group of people around quoting the movie while playing the board game with the theme music on. So Nemesis, while not being a game I get to play very often, is one I'm incredibly fond of. Um, so yeah, it has its place of pride there on the shelves along with everybody else. Now, the last game here is Trajan, which is by Stefan Feld, who we all know loves to give us points for our salads. Um, and what Trajan is about, well, it's a, it's a Euro game. It's a dry Euro game. Um, what is it about? Well, we're Romans. <laughs> Mostly it's about the cool mechanisms, um, which is that there is basically like a, a wheel, a rondelle on your player board and you move your little pieces around so that they will land on whatever section you want them to land on, which corresponds to a particular part of the board where you might want to do actions. Yeah, it's a game all about combining actions together, buying things to get points. Um, it's really, really fun and it hurts my head a lot, but I really enjoy Trajan. Um, it's a very clever game and it's, it's kind of well known and respected at this point and deservedly so. So I'm a huge fan of Trajan. 
Um, right, so this brings us to our final results. So which would I want to bin? Borrow, I'm saying borrow is in that I would like to play occasionally. Like, you know, you have a friend who owns the game, so you don't own it, but you still kind of get to play it. Uh, or buy, so, you know, kind of keep, because we're kind of past the buy phase here. <sighs> I guess I have to put guillotine in the bin because it's only here for sentimental purposes, um, which is kind of lousy. Um, nemesis, nemesis, is this? I love saying that as well. We're playing nemesis. Is this? Um, I would probably borrow because you don't play it. I don't play it all that often and you definitely want to play it with friends, kind of with a group. So if someone else in the group had it, that would make loads of sense. Although I really do enjoy Nemesis, which means I would probably buy Trajan, which is true because um, I'm such a, a fan of dry Euro games. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I would do with these three games. What would you have done yourself? Um, which one would you have bought? Would you have borrowed or binned? Let me know in the comment box below. And if you had fun with this format, let me know as well. And maybe I will make another in the future. So thanks everyone for tuning in. Please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to get updates. Um, and of course, you know, we'd love to hear from you in the future. All right, take care everybody. Bye-bye.